Good afternoon, everyone. We are back at the LA County Fair opening night. This year's theme, Stars, Stripes, and Fun, hashtag Stars, Stripes, Fun, <laughs> runs tonight. Thursdays through Sundays, plus Memorial Day Monday through May 27th. We got a full schedule of things to do. Some people already went straight to the Michelada booth. I am going straight to the Flowers and Garden Pavilion to see the beautiful display. And we'll go check out everything else there is here to do at the fair. There is a lot. Try to show you everything we can tonight. They just opened at 5. They close at 11. But we'll be back tomorrow for anything that we didn't get to see tonight. Let's go. The theme of the Flower and Garden Pavilion this year is We Are LA. Los Angeles, with its deep and rich history, is a city and county of unique and exceptional contrast. And while an evolving and changing metropolis can sometimes be bewildering, it remains unique and magical. So the pavilion is celebrating the rich cultural history and heritage of Los Angeles. We see Angel's Flight, of course, downtown, the new 6th Street Bridge, kind of a contrast there of the old Angel's Flight and the brand new bridge. We were there for the opening of that. Check out our video. We were there for the official dedication of the 6th Street Bridge. Right next to the Flowers and Garden Pavilion is the Marketplace. It's actually attached. You can go inside, sample wines and beverages. It was a competition, over 300 wines available. We'll edit in a quick clip from a preview that we did the other day here at the fair. They'll tell you all about the wine selection inside. It's a lot of fun. Um, our wine tasting stems from a competition that was held a couple of months ago where we take uh, anywhere from 1,500 to 4,000 entries depending on the year. Uh, we have a panel of judges that uh, taste every single wine and with their tasting they will uh, either give a gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal or no medal. And what we serve are all gold medals for the most part and we will have probably over 300 wines to taste in the marketplace during this fair. Make sure you check out Next Fest. It runs throughout the entire fair. It is a collection of independent artists, DJs, multiple states. Check out the show time to see when they'll be performing. One of my other favorite areas of the fair is America's Great Outdoors on the hill. Kind of an overlooked area sometimes at the fair. Make sure you do not miss this. Walk up to the top of the hill. There is so much to see. There are interactive activities up here for the whole family. There are presentations and a lot to see and check out. Let's head up here. You can see a bunch of activities to check out up here and there is a little stage with some presentations going on throughout the day, caring for the land. Next we're going to go up here to this U.S. Forest Service Fire Lookout. Up here on the top of the hill, there is a beautiful display from Imaginarium, which was the holiday event here at Fairplex. And if you did not come out, you definitely missed out. I assume it'll be back this year. Check out our video. We were here for a special media preview. It was absolutely beautiful and magical. Cannot say enough good things. We'll come back when it's dark, see what this looks like. Last year, we checked out the Tree Circus, which was an interesting show all about trees and nature. Make sure you come see this while you're here at the fair. It is a tree of life, correct? Actual tree. service, my We friend. saw you last year. Good to see you again. Thank Good you. you Thank you. Also on property here at Fairplex is the Rail Giants Train Museum. Come over here and check out the trains. And there is also the Fairplex Garden Railroad, which is model trains. And they're celebrating their 100th celebration anniversary this year. If you have someone in your family that loves trains, they are going to love this. And it's included with your fair admission. You can actually go in most of the engines, a lot of the cars. They are accessible via stairs. Very, very cool. Let's go in this one. I always say there is so much to do at the fair. If you don't like rides, you've got exhibits. If you don't like the exhibits and only want to go on rides, you can do that if you come just for the food. I think I counted almost 140 different food locations. And for those looking to save a few dollars or try everything they possibly can in a day, there is a value menu. Now, in previous years, it was $7.70, which came out to $8.50 with tax. We have to check this year. One of the employees here said she thought it was $9, but we have to confirm because there is no price on the guide here. But inside every single food location has a value menu item. 
and is broken down by location. So we were here the other day for a special media preview of some of the foods. We got to try those out. Make sure you check that video. So as we walk around tonight, we'll look for some value menu items to try. Our goal tonight is to spend under $30 and see how much we can eat. We're gonna do that again tomorrow with some friends. In front of the Gravitron on the Midway, there is a free charging station. I'm gonna plug it in and see if it actually works. And you get the elusive bullseye. Here's the lineup, there's the toss. Bullseye! And the Lyle fans go bananas! Everybody yell, chop, chop! chop you chop, gotta be left, chop! chop. chop. At the next fest stage, they're mixing with a DJ, and he's mixing Shanice, I Love Your Smile. I haven't heard that song in a very long time. So my first item tonight from the value menu is our go-to is Piggly's. I got a burger fries and this size soda I drank a little bit so far. And you got a variety of toppings. I got some burger sauce ranch. I had lettuce tomato over there. This was $9.99. And they also had an $8.62 pulled pork slider with a soda. It was $8.62. This was $9.99, both plus tax. So that is up from the $7.70 from last year, but still a pretty good value. And there are so many things to try here, but we're going to start with this tonight. The burger's pretty good, and those fries with the seasoning, not bad for 10 bucks at the fair. So almost every night of the fair, there is a concert in the grandstands. Now, if you purchase a concert ticket, the fair admission is free. Parking is not included. But for some of the shows, not all of them, they release free tickets to those concerts here at the Rose Lane ticket booth starting at 2 o'clock. So if there's a show you want to see, you can check that ticket booth. But if you absolutely have to see that concert, make sure you buy that ticket to guarantee yourself a seat. But if you want to take the chance and possibly get the show tickets for free, try that booth. But it is not all shows, so make sure you check the website to see what the status is on those. Another thing that I love doing is looking at the cars here in the culture of the low and slow. old Chevy is parked here on the side of the NHRA Motorsports Museum and you can check that out during the fair admission is five dollars in the Millard Sheets Art Center there is an exhibit from Mexican artist Rufino Tamayo in 1964 he came to Los Angeles for a brief bit and produced a series of lithographs so some of those are on display New at Chicken Charlie's this year is a hot honey chicken funnel cake sandwich. We had this the other day at the media preview and it was so good. We'll edit in that clip of Chicken Charlie introducing it here. Hi guys, I'm Chicken Charlie and we're here at the LA County Fair. And this is the funnel cake hot honey chicken sandwich. Come get it. Bacon wrapped deep fried pickles are also amazing. You have to try them. <laughs> While we're taking the sky ride, I'll tell you all about the ride tickets. You can buy tickets, they're all QR coded, so you will get a receipt or you can buy them on the RCS Fund app. If you'd like to do a wristband for the day, it is $50, but you have to purchase them by a specific time. And the wristband is only good until a specific time depending on what day you come. So make sure you check the kiosk, then you also check the website to get that information. Or you can buy the tickets in blocks of five, I think four or five. I bought $40 worth, which is $50. Let me change that. I bought 40 tickets for $50. I have mentioned a few times that I was here on Wednesday for a very special media preview where we were treated to some of the foods that will be here. Obviously we didn't try everything so make sure you check out that video and comment on what you're most looking forward to doing when you come to the fair. We'd love to hear from you. And post on social media, tag us at the Funnel Cake Vlog so we know what kind of fun you had. And right up this way here are the pig races. And we might not have time to see that tonight but they race pigs, goats, geese and ducks. And we took some video of that the other day, so we'll edit that in right about now. Your job is to jump up and down, shot and cheer, y'all.
Chef, Chef Santos. Uh, he is in our video from the other day too, so make sure you check out his food. He has a new beef birria dip and beef birria rolls, which are like egg rolls with consomme. Mm. But his value item side are two slow cooked tacos with some radishes, lime chips, and there is some fresh salsa out there too. Let's give these a try. <laughs> We've made it back to the farm section of the fair where all the agriculture is and it is absolutely beautiful back here and it's kind of quiet tonight usually it's pretty busy lights are just starting to come on in the fair so we're going to check this area out then go over and see the animals and we have a friend vending back here too pam so we'll see if we can find her somewhere Everything grown here at the farm is actually used at the farm for food events. So everything you see here will actually be eaten right here on premises. Check out how they use all these herbs and everything from this garden on social media. Farm at Fairplex. Don't forget this area tucked behind the farm and the big red barn. Some vendors back here and some more displays. Every time you come to the fair you find something new and our good friend Pam is back here with a booth. We'll show you everything that she's got but there's this area right along, that's White, right? White Avenue? Right. White yeah. Avenue? Behind the farm that's got a little schoolhouse. There's going to be a blacksmith show over there at 8 o'clock. Right behind the animals there's some agriculture booths, the Los Angeles County Beekeepers Association is back there so make sure you don't miss this area and Pam do you want to say hello? Hello! <laughs> Familiar face if you watch the channel so you got a bunch of goodies here today so they have come to make sure to come on down here. Yeah. <laughs> you can melt your steel if you're not careful. looking for the cow milking demonstrations. <laughs> this is where you'll find it. Inside here there are a ton of animals. There is a little show plus some photo ops. Look at this little baby goat. Oh my gosh. Look at the two over here. Competitions are right across the way. If I don't come out, call for help. <laughs> Look at 
when there are competitions going on, they will be held in here. And then there is the blacksmith we just watched earlier in Pam's booth, directly behind the competitions. For a $5 donation, you can pick up a plant here. If I was able to grow anything, I would get one. <laughs> but it is a $5 donation and supports the farm, part of the Learning Center. As I mentioned, there are grandstand concerts. Tonight, a war is performing over there. It is super windy up here, and sorry for the lights. I just brought my phone today. No camera, I didn't want to have to carry it and go on the rides. So, beautiful view though, and you can hear war playing too. <laughs> so now we have left, we need to go check out the rest of the carnival rides, the kitty carnival section, the Plaza de Americas, and the expo halls. And we've got about two hours. The expo halls, I think, close at 10. So we're gonna do that between, it's exactly nine o'clock right now, get those out of the way, then go look at the carnival rides. Right now we are soaring above Rafiki's Foods. We tried that at the media preview. He was here last year, amazing Kenyan food. His samosas and his homemade sauce for them. You've got to try it. He's right, right there. <laughs> it appears as the Fairplex Garden Railroad has closed for the night, selling me their 100th year, 1924 to 2024. It is a model railroad and it is so neat. You really got to come check this out. Again, this is free too. All the kiddie rides are centered here between the expo halls next to the railroad and between the railroad between the grandstand and the railroad but there are dozens of other rides for the adults too we've made it over to downtown fairplex where all of the expo halls are and we're gonna head straight to expo hall 9 because inside is one of my favorite places to get a snack. It is McPherson's ice cream. Also celebrating over 100 years here at the fair. And we're going to get a Coke float. Traditionally a root beer, but I'm going to get Coke. And inside of Hall 9 in previous years, there has been like a haunt hall of spooky, scary stuff. But this year, there's something new. It's going to be a roller skating rink. Let's check it out, see what it looks like. So there is an entry fee to get into the arcade to play the games. And in the back, I believe, is where the roller skating rink is. You can see a ton of classic arcade games. And this spot over here, Dough Spot, we had their pretzel-filled dough balls the other day with uh, pulled pork. It was delicious. So here is where you skate. It is roller skating, and the roller skates are in the back. I was just told that this is actually free. All you need to do is sign a waiver and go grab your skates. On the value menu at McPherson's was this large root beer float. I got Coke. It is $8.62. Comes out to $9.50 with tax. That's what they are. Um, everybody I've noticed has had the value menu. The signs do not say how much they are, but I believe most of them are $8.62, $9.50 with tax. And this is the 102nd year. We found the haunt booths. They have moved to Expo Hall 7. If you're looking for candy, <laughs> this is where you're going to find it. In addition to the shopping and expo halls, there are exhibits underneath the grandstand. There is an eSports gaming arena. In the culinary pavilion, you will find table settings, culinary displays, and a lot of baked goods also that were in competition. I always enjoy looking at these table displays for some reason. If you read the reviews on how they get graded, it's absolutely hilarious some of the things they mark them off for. On the other side, there is also home arts and crafts, all sorts of things including youth competition pieces, knitting, Lego sets you see here, and a bunch of other competition entries. Don't forget to check all this out. And these are underneath the grandstand right there. You can't miss it. There will be a schedule for all of the demonstrations when you walk into the hall and other show times are listed on the showtime guide when you come in the main gate. Make sure you walk down all of these streets in downtown Fairplex because there are food booths, community stages, things to see on all of them. All right, we're gonna head back over to the fair section where the rides are, get some popcorn. that 
comment below. It like it's stuck fully upside down for like a split second. That is it from opening night of the LA County Fair here at Fairplex. It runs Thursdays through Sundays plus Memorial Day Monday till May 27th. We tried to show you everything. We couldn't do everything tonight. We'll be back in the morning, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel with that notification bell turned on for more coverage from the fair plus theme parks across Southern California. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment what are you looking most forward to at the fair this year. Again, if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon. We've got our pass, so we'll be back.